Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog. How the fuck are we doing today, guys? I'm doing awesome and sexy things for never, ever, 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 ever asking. Yes, never asking. As you basically see behind me on the bung board, the bung board, the bung board, the bung board. Oh, yes. Fucking YouTube has been really kicking my ass lately. It just, it, annotations are really not working, fucking, along with, uh, goddamn, I, like, I'll upload a fucking video and go AFK, and the info that I save in the goddamn video sometimes is not there, so I have to redo the fucking goddamn, you know, the, the, the description and shit. It's highly fucking annoying, and it's really frustrating and irritating, but that's really the way YouTube just fucks me in general. Anyways, alright, so, um... That was I gonna say. Damn it, I fucking forgot now. Oh yes, as you basically see on the bung board, we are now 640,000 EXP to 99 prayer. Do not ask me how much EXP I will have until 99 prayer because the answer is going to be a couple thousand or whatever. Probably most likely tonight or tomorrow I'll get down to probably most likely a couple thousand. And uh, basically, yeah, that's pretty much about it. The party is going to be happening this weekend. Haven't decided when, where, or what yet. Um, going to be uploading my fucking... Well, first of all, God, St God War Statues came out today. Uploaded a video on my main channel, basically talking about that happy, happy horse shit. Um, but as for this evening, going to be uploading my 99 Invite Prayer Party video. So, yeah, make sure you guys are going to be watching that shit because it's going to be a big one. Ooh, yep. And then right after 99 Prayer, we're off to get 109 Dungeoneering, then we're off to get 110, and etc, 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 etc. Ah, but as for tomorrow goes, you're gonna be uploading, I'm really debating on making another two, a, a, a fucking back-to-back high-risking video. Not really sure if I want to fuck up that much shit in one day, but we will see. <laughs> oh yes, we will fucking see. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that's basically it for about updates in general, and yeah. Alrighty then, but today we're going to be talking about something fairly interesting. I, I, <laughs> I was actually watching uh, some of my old ass fucking PvP World PKing videos, mainly because... I kind of miss them. I, I just, I, I really, even though PvP worlds have fucking caused me goddamn problems and shit, <laughs> they really fucking have. I mean, fucking goddamn PvP worlds are fucking assholes. <laughs> but they're so fun. They really are. I mean, I mean, they're really, they really are goddamn fun. You see, this is actually something kind of really fun, it not, it's not really so much kind of funny, but it's just really how it goes just really in the world. Like, for example, let's say if, like, alright, hypothetically speaking, if the government of the United States of America said, hey, we're changing our government from a democracy to a fucking full, straight-on fucking dictatorship where you will live in fucking fear and your life will suck. There will be a motherfucking revolution. <laughs> I will be on the fucking rebel side. So will probably most likely every single fucking other person in this country. But you see, you can't just go into a... You can't just change fucking government. You can't, you can't really do shit like that, you know? Um, now, on the other hand... If you fucking are born into a dictatorship, uh, then it's... What the fuck is this? God, God damn it, are you fucking serious? Uh, sorry, I'm fucking transferring fucking something right now. This thing just popped up giving me an error. Motherfucker! Alright, uh, I'll deal with that in a second. Anyways, um, so if, if you're born into a fucking dictatorship... It's a lot easier for you to basically be controlled because you're born into it. Like, for example, everyone that plays RuneScape is born into the sense of there is a wild. Does it make sense that in order to only fight someone, you have to take them into the wild? No, that's fucking kind of stupid, you know? 
but we started playing RuneScape and we're kind of born into the sense that um, there is a wild and dangerous place, so stay away from it and stuff. That's kind of like, you know, a dead area. But it would actually be kind of cool if you could fight anyone, anywhere on this game. Now, before I basically, you know, say anything else, you have to agree to the terms. You can't just fucking randomly go up to... <laughs> I mean, if you could fucking go up to people and just start killing them, um, nobody in their right fucking mind would really be wearing any expensive shit. I mean, just items would plummet because nobody would fucking want to wear anything nice and shit. Um, but... Imagine if you could just go up to someone like standing in fucking the GE and you basically, you know, you go through the terms, kind of like staking. You challenge them. And then right then and there, you fight them. And whatever they have on, if they fucking, well, of course, after they agree to the fight, you know, it's, it's not you challenge a person and then they say, okay, you have to agree to it. There's fucking warnings left and right. Problem with that is that people are dumbasses. That's, that's the pure and simple fucking, you know, I mean, I can preach for fucking hours upon hours saying, hey, this is how you don't get scammed. This is how you do get scammed. This is what you do to get scammed. And people still get fucking scammed. Um, it's just people, a lot of people just fairly are not that intelligent. And there would be a lot of people getting fucking scammed. Uh, I, I mean, it, it just... It, me, personally, if somebody came up to me and tried challenging me, I would say, fuck no, snake! Get away! Get the fuck away! Go away! Go away! You know? And there used to be this old-ass scam where you would lure someone to a German world and say, oh, oh, my, my 99 skill party is going to be in this world. And then, you know, they come and you're basically like, hey, you know, you show up, you bring your fucking, you know, a Santa or whatever. And they're like, you know, oh, hey, come in, you know, expensive stuff. I'm, you know, making a video or screenshot or whatever. They bring third age fucking Santa or party hat or whatever, right? And you uh, tell them, you're like, hey, you know, I'm going to teleport you to like uh, Camelot or Lumbridge. They accept the Camelot, they accept the um, teleportation. But because it's in a German world, the fucking, the text is in German, probably most likely nobody can really read German except a few people on this game. And they teleport you to Dark Knight's Fortress, you get fucking teleblocked, you get ice barrage, you die, and you are fucked. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> so, that's one of the old ass scams. And I mean, there's, I mean, people are going to get, like I said, people are going to get scammed no matter what Jagex really does on this game. Whether how many warnings they fucking add, how many safety precautions, it happens, my friends. It really does. Um, but for them to really, I mean, it would be cool to actually see, but I just kind of wish they add, would add fucking PvP worlds back. I, I think PvP worlds would be so fucking fun. I mean, it really, I mean, it really was fun, because it would, it would be like an adventure, you know? You go to fucking rock, holy shit, gotta run to the bank, oh, run to the bank! <laughs> it was a fucking adventure, goddammit, it really was. I had a blast. That was the highlight of really RuneScape for me, is PvP Worlds. Um, but, in general, it's just fucking, it's... It's really whatever, my friends. Really whatever. Uh, would be nice for PvP Worlds to come back, but that's probably never going to fucking happen. Oh well. Alright, my little titty fuckers out there. Today, like I said, going to be uploading my 99 prayer video invitation. Uh, going to be doing some prayer tonight. Probably most likely will have it to the, you know, to the fucking spot that I would like it to have and shit. Um, otherwise, that's basically pretty much about it. Uh, new videos are going to be uploaded on gaming channel as well, my IRL channel. But otherwise, guys, right now I want to go to my email address to have some happy hooba hooba questions from you motherfuckers. Ask the number at yahoo.com and to meet you who's because if you do, well, Jagex will log you into a PvP world and you will get raped in the ass. <laughs> You log into RuneScape with no fucking warning, and you die. That would definitely suck balls. First, Hooba Hooba question. Do, 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 do. 
Alright, so username, MLGX Host X. Hi, I was wondering, what was your first 99 and how did you achieve it? P.S. I watch all your vids and you're awesome. Then it's a little colon with a capital D type uh, sucking dick face. Um, I'm going to be a dick. And the reason why I'm going to be a dick is because I can be and that's really pretty much about it. Um, if you watch, if, if you literally watch, uh, if I watch all your vid, if you watch all my fucking videos, well, but then again, it's, yeah, yeah, you, you watch all my fucking videos, uh, you should know what my first 99 on this game was. I mean, I don't really mean to sound like a dick, but that's basically pretty much about it. <laughs> uh, first 99 on this game was Dungeoneering. Mm-hmm, that's right, even though Dungeoneering came out fucking 2009, I started playing in 2005. 99 Dungeoneering was my first 99. <laughs> I'll see you motherfuckers later. Bye.